Been at it already, had my tarot read Things are looking up for me, that's what my tarot said Been pumping out pheromones and wearing red Young Jerry Lollery King, but they're not aware of it Forty dollars to show money, that's what they stole from me Blow it all bone and guess I roll funny Go find Today me. is gonna be a nice day That's the plan for today Do really nice things, um, if I'm honest I have a little bit of time to take a few hours off today so I've planned some really nice things, things that I probably used to do on the weekend for kids um, that I can't really do, not in the same way. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. Have you, sorry, <laughs> I said this in my last vlog, but someone told me to, if you look down to swallow a pill, it's easier. Have you ever tried that? No. Honestly, life-changing. I used to do that. Yeah. No, it's so much easier, look. It just goes straight down, what? Honestly, whoever commented that, you've changed my life. Um, I'm just eating banana and egg pancakes, which are delicious, covered in maple syrup. Very... For someone that says I don't like sweet breakfast, this is a very sweet breakfast. So the plan today is to go to Social Pottery in Kentish Town. I've wanted to go for so long, I got a voucher from my sister. You can either paint pottery or you can actually make it. Today I'm just going to be painting. I've got like a two hour session. Um, actually, it's really funny. They didn't have any of the normal sessions left. They only had the boozy session. So you could like go and do boozy pottery painting during the day or in the evening where you like take your own alcohol. I'm not sure I'm going to take my own alcohol. It's like a 12 o'clock midday session, but Good to know the option is there. And then I'm gonna walk around the corner to Camden. There's a whole new like area of Camden food market with so much amazing food. I haven't been for years because to be honest, it's somewhere I used to love going as a teenager, but it became so touristy. On the weekend, it's just like hell. So I never really go, but because it's a weekday, I'm hoping it will be much quieter and there's just, the food there looks incredible. So I'm excited for a lunch there. So just having my coffee, breakfast supplements, and then I think we're gonna head off. Okay, on our way, I've driven past this place so many times and it looks so cool. It's like a proper pottery studio type place. I wish I was wearing like cool overalls. Hopefully can find somewhere to park. It's a bit tricky to get to on public transport. So gonna drive, let's see how we go. We've been trying to think on the way, what we're gonna paint, trying to get ideas. Uh, feel a bit panicky, but it's all right. We've got like two hours there. So let's just enjoy it. Always listening to Daisy Jones and the Six, of course. Just did the most insane parking ever. Like honestly, one smooth action. The wheel just in the paint display space. So impressed with myself. Um, just got compliments on my umbrella. It's a sissy umbrella. So look, the edges are curved. First of all, it's quite small. I got said this years ago. And the edges are curved so I don't like to poke someone in the eye because that is a thing in London. I don't know how we're ever gonna be able to pick. This place is massive. There are so many different like pots and mugs and plates and things to pick from and I wanna do it all. I'm so excited. So they said just go around and pick what we want, pay for it, and then they're gonna give us a little painting lesson. And then you get to sit and paint. Honestly, this is my dream. I'm so looking forward to it. I'm thinking either two mugs or a couple of small plates. Or maybe something for Grey's room. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Could do like a quarry jug. What's this, like a milk jug? No, the vase? Vase. The vase for like tulips. Yeah. Tulip vase. Okay, what else? I feel like, oh, that's nice. That's quite you. Yeah, I like, I like that with this. I feel like I have a lot of vases. Like a nice little like simple side plate. So you can do like with that kind of, it's more like a canvas. So you can do whatever you want on it. A couple of those, but you've got to be quite artistic, I feel like. Yeah, if you haven't got shape to go around, yeah, yeah, like, uh -huh. you've got to be good. I quite want the challenge there, or like this type of plate. You know, that thing I just showed you with the border, that would be nice. I think if I was doing something for Grey's bedroom, I could do something like this and like put a G on it, and that would be nice for like a shelf or for pens. That would be nice. Quite simple. That's a good shape mug. 30, that so that's 30 pounds. You pay like five pounds to book a thing and then something like this is 30. If I do two, that's like 60 pounds. Like, would I go out and spend 60 pounds on mugs today? It's your own art. <laughs> it is. I could just do one. Maybe I don't think I'd actually be able to do two. That's a nice mug. So much pressure. There's this like whole section of like terracotta ones, which I'm assuming is the same, but if you don't want it to have like a white base. Oh look, they've got some examples. <gasps> The terracotta looks so nice when it's glazed. 
Ooh, that's changed my mind. Because if you leave that bit plain, it comes out looking really nice. Oh man. Over here, all the cute things that Grey will want to do, I'm just not doing it. Grandma was like, maybe a plastic bottle. Oh, look, Georgia. Mr. Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I think the plan is a mug. I'm gonna do the inside like a block colour, and then I'm gonna do a different colour around the like rim, because that was good. Um, and then I'm gonna do like a tulip print all the way around. And then I don't know about the handle. Maybe I'll do like a squiggly line on the handle. I think I need to get started if I'm really panicking about time. This is the colour wheel, I need to find my 92, that's my red. So the colour wheel shows what the colours are going to look like once it's gone into the kiln. You have to do like three layers to get a strong colour. And then I just started painting. I tried to use a sponge but actually I found it much easier with the paintbrush and it was so relaxing, so calming. I absolutely loved it. Here's the progress. Bit of a green and pink moment. And then it was time to draw the tulips. I googled an image to kind of help me and then I used pencil which burns off when you put it in the kiln and it's just like grown up colouring in. Okay, here is my finished, well it's before it's gone in the kiln, so all the colours are gonna be much darker. It's gonna be like an orangey coral on the inside, green on the top, and then the flower's gonna be quite like a dark red with the green. I'm really happy with it. It's so, I just feel like I would love to buy that. I don't know, I really hope it comes out well. It was kind of stressful, but fun to like get creative with my hands, and I basically wanna come back every week. Love it. I've got the little mug thing that goes on my camera, so I really hope you guys can hear me and it's not too windy. But we're now walking over to Camden Market, and I'm so hungry. Painting pottery is hard work, guys. I don't really know which way I'm going. I'm going to walk over the bridge. I think I'm going to try this side. Jesus first. Christ, love your ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I love Camden. I'm going to try this side on the right first. <laughs> We're just going to keep walking. <laughs> Look, at least the sun's come out. Yay! <laughs> I really wish I'd bought my sunglasses. I know, sunny. Okay, so this I think is the new side. This is the side that burned down and they've done it up again. So I haven't been here yet. My favourite thing about Camden is that you can walk along the canal keep walking you'll pass like Primrose Hill, King's Cross, like all these amazing areas. If it's sunny, it's the nicest thing to do on a weekend. There's gonna be too much to choose from. Like I don't know how we're ever gonna pick. I want like a main savory, a side and then a sweet. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so I think they'll make more of this side eventually but it still feels a bit like new. I think all the food is on the other side. I think they just added to the other side. Okay, I've definitely seen this one all over TikTok, the cheese wheel. It's like all the cheesy pasta. I had bolognese for dinner last night. We're not going to have cheesy pasta. I'm not going to have cheesy pasta. <laughs> you can have what you want. We've got chicken and noodles in a box. Love that. I like watching American films my whole life. I love it when it comes in a box. Okay, burgers. Honey butter fried chicken burger. Ooh. Oh, I don't know what I want. Shit, there's so much more. <laughs> okay, there's more. Okay, I've seen the halloumi fries. TikTok. They look good. I don't want falafel. I feel like I can get falafel. Bagel with brisket. That sounds good. I'm a bit speechless. I don't know. I'm so. I shouldn't have come here when I'm so hungry. Halloumi fries. Should we get them just? To, should we get halloumi fries to share? Yes, that's okay. our side. Okay. Oh, cheese. Okay, are you ready? Nice little portion. I like it. It's got the like pomegranate molasses and yogurt and stuff. They're gonna be really hot. I'm gonna burn myself. Mm. Oh my god, so good. The halloumi. Oh my god, you're gonna love this. The yogurt's like kind of minty. And the pomegranate. Oh my god, honestly, these are incredible. <laughs> There's a Yorkshire burrito stand. I've seen this. It's a massive Yorkshire pudding with everything from like a roast inside. So like beef, potatoes, veg, gravy, and then it's wrapped up into like a style of a burrito. I just don't, I can't, I don't think I can get my head around it. Surely it, the Yorkshire pudding goes soggy and then it's just soggy 
I don't know. I feel like I should try it, but I just I don't feel like that's what I want for my lunch today, and I don't want to be wasting food. So um, I'd maybe try and show you it, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. It's the roll up. It's the roll up. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, we've made the decision to just keep sharing so that we can eat more food. Uh, so next up is some chicken tacos. Uh, the stand doesn't look that impressive, but we saw someone eating them and they look delicious. So I'm just one of those annoying people that keeps going up to people asking what they're eating. We get some chicken tacos. Chicken tacos. Okay, wow, that bird is really loud. I like it. We went for the tacos. We've got guacamole on the side and then realised I'm not sure what you set is, so I'm kind of going to just like shove it in with a fork. I feel like they might as well have just put it inside. Why would you want it on the side? This is messy. It's going to be messy, okay? There's no, there's no way around this. <laughs> That sauce on the outside is going to make my lips flare up. It is spicy, but it's good. No. Do you not like spicy? <laughs> no. Oh no. Wow, we didn't pick something easy to eat, did we? It's cheesy. Oh, I just spilled my coat. It's cheesy. Chicken's good. It is spicy, but like really nice spice. It's really yummy. I'm happy with my choice. We found a place that does those little Dutch pancakes with like the tiny ones. It's like the perfect size of a pancake, so we're gonna get some. I'm not entirely sure if I've finished having savoury yet, so maybe on the way back I might get something else like a little side, but I'm ready for like a sweet break. I think I want Nutella. Nutella, yeah, yeah. Sorry, can you get the Nutella, please, these ones? The, yeah, the Dutch pancakes with, oh, do you want 10 or 15? I've got like an irrational fear when I hold things like this where I just feel like I should just like throw it on the floor. Do you ever get that? Okay, oh my god, so we went for Nutella and strawberry. They are, honestly, it's like, I'm just gonna put the whole thing in one. Wait, I need a bit of strawberry. Mm. That's a lot of Nutella. Mm. Super sweet strawberries. Yeah, so good. Oh, I love Nutella. Oh, they're just so squidgy. This is what we were just saying. They're squidgy in the middle. I'm gonna have one more and then I think I need to stop. Okay. Mmm. My happy dogs. Mm. Mm. So good. I think, I think it's time to head home. But my day of filling my cup, honestly, I love it. My cup is full. I've had such a nice time. Hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with me today. See you in my next video. Bye!